this is um, my Crafters Companion Craft Supplies Haul number three. And um, this is still during the uh, outlet sale. Um, the reason why I just have it like this and not in, you know, because this obviously was part of the envelope. For some odd reason, the envelope when it arrived was really mucky and had a hole in it or something. But I think everything is here, so that's good. But um, yeah, it was, it was really you and with dirt and everything on it so I decided just to leave everything in this luckily these days you can tear apart the inside from the actual outside of the envelope for recycling purposes so I kept it in like this because obviously I needed <laughs> uh, somewhere to put them while I uh, had it waiting I got this um was it yesterday, I think? And today is the 17th of November, I believe. Obviously, it's going to be uploaded in December, but, you know. So why don't we just get to it, right? Because like, it's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I need my, my desk space so I can show it to you all. So, I've got my little, uh, order sheets, I can tell you how much they cost, and from what I can tell, let's see, hopefully I found it right, I believe these prices are before the uh, Club Inspire discount, I believe, well, it's before some other sale of some kind, so. First up, I guess, I'll reach in and get the first thing. Here we are, here we have <clears throat> from the uh, Threaders line, erasable fabric patterns. Why am I opening this order before the other order? I don't know actually. Anyway, <laughs> um, yes, so it comes with blue, black, and red. Very typical. Well, the uh, thing about these ones is that you heat them up and it erases. It writes like a pen, disappears like a pencil. You use the eraser or apply dry heat to remove any marks on fabric. Suitable for use on all fabrics that can withstand heat. Is what it says on the back. So I mainly got these because I got, this is a bit of a spoiler now, but I got the first uh, Violet edition, which is the first one, a template library. So I got these mainly for that, so I can, you know, erase. This should not be in the screen. There you go. So here, first we got the pens. Next up, we've got a set of three each, so two sets with three each. We have the Opulent Trio stencil set with um, what word is that for? Well, I think there's five in total, because like there's the decorative trio, textile trio, stylish trio, opulent trio, two, three, four, five. Did I say five? I think I said five. Anyway, for this one, I will say it's in the uh, mixed media category. It's very beautiful. Mainly I got it for the roses, but um. It's a 3.8 by 8 inches, which is 9.7 by 20.3 centimeters, as it says down there. Um, I guess this is uh, ideal for slimline cards, like, you know, that size. 
But anyway, these are what you get. Very smitsy and that opulent trailer. Mm. Goes well with the uh, title. Yeah. Get creative with color to create atmospheric effects with Crafter's Companion stencil sets. From statement centerpieces and dimensional backgrounds to ombre effective borders, you can do so much with these versatile and hard wearing stencils. Try stifling spun I think that's the thing to say it. Um <clears throat> Sponging, spritzing, and experimenting with your favorite inks, acrylic paints, and pastes to make something special. You can even use them to paper emboss with your die cutting machine. Now that's intriguing. So, yes. Put out clothes, there's a rose and some kind of sort of flowery thing. And just. An opulent pattern. <laughs> I don't know. It's not very swirly. So that's that one. The next one I got is the Stylish Trio set. So basically circles which look kind of like bubbles. You got raindrop kind of shape things and diamonds. I figured the diamonds would be a good one for like masculine cards you know or just one of those ugly christmas jumpers or something like those two would be good for like underwater or i mean you could be you could have liked leaves too like but anyway the back says exactly the same but yes you got bubbles or circles or whatever Diamonds and raindrop looking things. Might need to layer them because I got some more stuff to put on the desk. Oh, probably should say the uh, arrow pens, 299. The stencils each were 399. It was in pounds, by the way. I didn't make that clear. Next up, we have this very lovely star jigsaw to go along with the other uh, heart and jigsaw piece one that I got before in the last uh, uh, haul video, I think. So I thought the star would make a very nice gentle neutral gentle gender neutral card or kind of like a boyish card you know um this one $3.99 let me put it down here can't really see it but Next up, I could resist. This one was on sale for $5.99. And it's originally like, I think it's near the 20s, I think. I can't remember. But here is another jigsaw die, but this is like a rectangle, 5 by 7. And it is multimedia die, same as this one. And, uh, yes, you can cut through loads of different, uh, media. <laughs> so paper, obviously, card, cork board, mount board, craft metal, faux leather, and fabric. So I thought that was pretty neat. And it was for sale for $5.99. Luckily, well, I got it cheaper because of the, uh, you know, um, Clever Inspire, but... Oh, and by the way, with these... Well, the selfies, not all of it. But with this uh, craft supplies haul, I am now platinum. Of course, that won't really last long because uh, <laughs> to get platinum, you need 
1500 points and 1500 points gets taken away at the beginning of the year and uh, 1500 points platinum gives you 20% off the uh, the silver I mean the gold gives you 15 the silver 10 and the bronze 5 percent off on your orders I believe wait Am I adding tears here? <laughs> it's bronze. I mean, there are four tears, right? Or there's three? I can't remember anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, for now, after this order, I can have 20% off the eraser, which is great. But, like, yeah. And for the bronze, you need 250 points. To classify for that to get the five percent off. So yeah. hopefully, or maybe, I'll spend enough to at least be left at the uh, bronze threshold, so I can have a percentage off. Anyway, I am waffling. <laughs> Next up, ah, it is these four. One ninety nine. I put them down here. I thought, you know, might as well. I, I did think I could, like, I don't know if I wanted to make a box or if I wanted to an envelope or just put on a card. We've got the sixteen piece craft magnets for one ninety nine, as I just said, I believe. Yeah, yeah. and that's not that was on a sale as well. They don't initially cost very much anyway, but it's on sale, so, you know, why not? And they are pretty strong, I believe. Because, like, obviously this is a die. I mean, it's not strong enough to carry it, obviously. Ooh, strong enough to carry that one. <laughs> anyway, yes. that up here. Now for the last two bundles that I bought. This one is I bought at well the price on here anyway before discounts and stuff is a 40 pounds and it is a, a seven piece corner punch set. So first up, we've got this photo corners. So I thought maybe I can try and do something with this instead of a uh, gift card die or something. I can maybe fudge it and use this. Or I can use it for obviously photos or, you know, things that I don't want to stick down or something. I don't know, but we'll see. So that's that one. The next one we have the rounded three in one for a four millimeter, seven millimeter, and ten millimeter rounded corners. And also, if you're wondering. A sleever, non-slip grip, cutting area, and to uh, to release it, you just pull the bottom and you empty out the bits. Obviously, it won't. It's not a very big space, so it will probably jam if you don't empty it frequently. So next up, this corner piece is a. Uh, Fleur de Lis, I believe that's how you pronounce it, maybe? There you go. It's a very... thing that's see, see, Um, what's the word? Sign. Yeah. 
three down so far. So now we have a decorative scallops. To make that. Reminds me of a doily. Next up, we have a it says deco fan to make that. Kind of reminds me of a sea, like a seashell, kind of a little tiny bit. Next up, we have a decorative hearts. That's pretty. Reminds me of like what you could do on the, on like a Valentine's Day card or something, you know. I mean, it doesn't have to do that, it could be anniversary too. And the last corner punch, it just says decorative corner. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. Basically it takes a V out. Or so, but if you look at it a certain way, it kind of looks like, like you know, a spine and like book pages open. But anyway, they all rounded. Oh, I think one of those. Well, I would have thought it was a different one. I don't know, but anyway, yes. One of them looked kind of different on the side, but anyway. You pull or you glide your thumb on the uh, the arrow on the plastic latch. You drag, pull it, you pull it that way. It extends for large or medium, but also underneath that's where you empty out the bits. I mean, personally, for some of them, I'll probably keep the bits because they're like, they're like sequins. I mean, you know, confetti. You can keep them, use them in shaker cards or something. So that's what I'll probably do. Anyway, so that's that. And that one was at 40 pounds. The last kit... What was this kit on it? The last bundle I got for... £29.50. Original price was closer to 50 ish. And that is what I, I couldn't resist, you know? So here we have the Shimmer Pearlescent Pigment Ink Pads for intense metallic effects. Here we have a Starlit Sky. Those ones look beautiful. I don't know if you can really see. But yes. Oops. Try not to completely muck it up. So we got Starlet Sky there. We have Peach Rose. Isn't really perforated very well, sadly. I do not mind the crinkle. <laughs> so here is the peach rose. Very nice, very nice. Nothing wrong with the pad so far. Hang on, I'm just going to put them on the desk because they're just bouncing on my knee here. I don't want to drop them. <laughs> it's a set of 10, by the way. Okay. 
Okay, right now. <clears throat> let's see, I did the blue and the peach rose, so let's show you this one. Hmm. Yeah, the uh... Oh, I really like the perforation sound as well. Oh well. Here is a very beautiful toffee apple. I don't think all of this will fit. So let me just... Hmm, will this... Yeah, that's the sound I'm talking about. Well, hold on. Yeah, let me see if it will. Yeah, the sound. I really like that sound for some odd reason. Anyway, that's why I kind of want to get a perforation blade of some kind just to make one, just so I can open it. <laughs> I mean, it's completely stupid, but still. <laughs> why not, yeah? Okay, so this one is Sugar Plum. It's like a kind of a... It's in the purple family. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I'm not too thing on colors, but... Purdy purdy. It's tricky now, I'm gonna think about it later. Okay, so let's see this. I might as well do a little purple. So uncooperative. I'm just throwing this behind me. I'm so missing the trash can right now. <laughs> yes, okay, so amethyst. I think that's supposed to be a deeper purple kind of color. Raspberry. They're lovely. Okay, so next up we have the blues, I guess. Frosty Mint is this one. See this one, isn't it? Hmm. 
Next up we'll have Tropic Blue. Faster just to cut them. Unfortunately. Hold on a minute. I just snipped the other two as well. This is a queen bee. Now I'm thinking about it. Was there ever a yellow or orange shimmering pen? I can't remember. There is in the gold series. I'll have to relook. I can't remember. Unlike the last time in the previous, uh, in the previous one where I did not open all these, I, uh, <clears throat> I'm opening this time to make sure I had a slight, a slight problem with a couple of the other ones which I needed, to. Uh, Replacements for, unfortunately. But uh, I just noticed that uh, if you look at it this way, and if you turn it around this way, it's upside down. But I guess if you flip it this right way, up. anyway, here is the lime soda. Very vibrant. Probably use this as like the highlight part on the my uh, Christmas trees or something like that. Evergreens, very good color. So that was the ten ink pad shimmer pearlescent ink pads. The next set of ink pads I'm planning to get with the gold shimmer. You know, to round off my set, because I, you know, I need to. <laughs> um, so for the last item in this order, which was the freebie, which technically would have cost four pound ninety nine if it wasn't free, I thought I get this because I joined this year. And it is, ta-da, and all sorts of pin I collect pins. The Club Inspire member 2023. Pin. Yeah. Well, I just said it was a pin, so obviously. <laughs> um, we want to celebrate you guys, our wonderful Club Inspire members. So to say thank you, here is an exclusive 2023 pin badge just for you. I don't know how long it's going to be a freebie or available for. No clue. But I couldn't pass it up. We'll be going to my uh, miscellaneous section of my pin pages. <laughs> so yes. That's everything. And that took up a lot of my desk space. You see. Luckily, I, pa I uh, stack those up, otherwise I take up more than I'll just this much of my desk space. And, um, just random, I think I'm going to upload the replacement video before this one, 
I did kind of briefly, but um, this ink pad was one of the replacements I needed. Well, not replacement, they forgot to send it to me, so they sent it to me. Um, this one will go with these because it's a pearlescent silver uh, kind of ink pad. So this is a seashell pink. It's a very light, sparkly pink. So that would go along with this. With these ones. Very nicely. I couldn't resist, you know? Because, like, also I needed a, like a replacement for the uh, yellow, uh, what was it, lemon line? I got a. Uh, oops. The uh, lemon. Yeah, lemon meringue and. Uh, Oops. Good. And um, vintage Merlot, because uh, the previous ones were a bit had some uh, things, the ink pad fraying or some other something or other. So I needed a replacement for that. I needed a replacement for the glitter here because it came first. Because someone did I? Just packaged it. I just didn't really package it. They just threw it in the box. I am. I, um, I. I just. I go. I talk about it in that. In that video. So whatever. But anyway, yes. That is everything. Oops. That is everything. Voila. I'm told you. Know, you don't even want to know what I spent from. Well, before the sale, I think it was before the sale, right? £69.34? I think that's before the sale. Yes, because, um, let's see. I actually had another discount code I found, which was NOV, so N-O-V, 10. I found that, uh, well, I found the October version, which is Oct 10, in a, uh, in Instagram story ad, so I thought I'll try it out, see if November one works, and it did. So that was a further ten percent off, I think. Not sure, but I think my total did eventually come down to thirty six or thirty something, more than thirty five. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, yes, that is everything. I'm so excited to try out all of these. I need to open my template library first, then, then I'll get to uh, what you call it. I actually did make something recently. I've never recorded it though, for some odd reason. But um, I tried my hand at some some bits. I haven't actually. F I only finished one card. Yes, I used um, two of the blues and the black and white. But like, I did that so far. I actually tried to fold it and uh, by eye or by something or other. I didn't quite fold it right, so it it just doesn't, you know. You know, it's not straight as what I wanted. I mean, it could easily go like that as a card, you know? So I, when I die cut this out, there's, you know, the outside bit. So like, I use the outside bit as a uh, stencil to uh, ink the inside bit and I so I can put that there, or whatever. As you can see, part of this, I used the uh, Spectrum Noir little misters to have a, have a play and see what happens. So that's what this was. So this is like a Christmas card idea. I wanna see if I can make a better thing.
thing of it for uh, you know with the temporary library. So this I have to re uh, re uh, see if um, I can get it better. This one, because I don't have a, like a swipey or any interactive thing on the inside, you know, or really finished everything about it at all. But, um, yeah, so I got a card base ish thing going on here, <laughs> sort of. So I just used a couple stamps and like. I stamp it once, then I stamp it two more times as it gradually fades. You know. So I thought, you know, why not? And then, the one that I did actually finally finish, <clears throat> I used some heat embossing. Obviously, I didn't fold this right either. <laughs> I just did completely, I don't know, I, I chose what was it? Three or something? Three and a half inches or something on my scoreboard. <laughs> but here, I did some heat embossing. Well, I, well, at first I, I used the outside, you know, normal throwaway bit for the uh, snowflake die, nesting die thing, and use that as a uh, thing to ink inside. As you can tell, this is one of the snowflakes, as well as this one. I actually used some... Well, to make it sparkly, I used some of my uh, silver gel pen on it. Of course, I did, I did that before I stuck it down, so I had like so much glitter on my fingers. <laughs> anyway, I used uh, Versamark uh, embossing ink and some silver embossing ink as well as clear glitter. Of course, I wasn't thinking about it, so when I did clear glitter, can't really see. Like this, this stuff like there, this stuff like there, and I did snowflakes along The, uh, the path there. So I thought that's pretty nice uh, Christmas card for, for a first attempt. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna put these over here for now because I, don't, I need my desk space for when I'm recording. Okay. But yes, that's that's enough of a tangent. Almost 40 minutes, gosh. Okay, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Uh you know what? Hang on a minute. Let's hmm. Hmm. Let me show you what one of them looks like. How about that? I found this scrap piece of paper. show you what it looks like. How about that? Which one should I do? Hmm. We'll do the one that's in the middle. Why not? Yeah. So I'll show you how it works that way. Here's what it looks like. There's the thing you press down. Here's where you put it in, and you can also go like this to extend it, as well as that's where you empty it out. See? So you, you can see it in the light, maybe. There's the arrow. You know? Like that. So, it's not going to be much since it's uh, 
very, very tiny. There we have it. Very cute. I like that. It curves the end as well as cuts out some hearts. Very cute. So you have to put it all the way up against the side. Well, obviously, if you got a full, you know, thing, you'll have a corner. But like, ta-da! So, like now, if you wanted to, I mean, you could also use these ones to uh, to ink in as well. But um, so, what you do? is you go like this I think I got it all. Did I get it all? I think I did. Because it's Two, four, five. It's one, two, four. No, I don't even have it all. <laughs> but like, you can use these little hearts as confetti, as I mentioned before. And in a shaker card. This one, those two. I don't have any. Well, one more for you. I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> oh, I got for from he knows where. But now I've got all of the uh, hearts. But uh, yes, it's very cute. Thank you for watching Max 4. Leave it over for notifications. Over and out.